Hello planet Earth. Your space weather news for today. Bees. One of the things everyone speaks about that if they go extinct we're all not gonna make it and yet we do nothing about it. Humans! Some school teacher had microphones already placed next to bees for a project that made legitimate sense as to why bees would be mic'd up. And her kids kept asking what are animal what do animals do during a total solar eclipse? So if you remember last year we had the total solar eclipse in 2017. I remember I watched the solar eclipse in Bryant Park with a very nice person who shared his uh, eclipse glasses with me. Um, actually it was very cool, everyone was sharing, there was like five eclipse glasses in about a pack of 500 people. So um, it was very nice that I was one of the people that got to see. But if you can think back, that was a total solar eclipse. So they analyzed these bees during the solar eclipse and what the school teacher and I guess her classroom found was that all the bees went completely silent and stopped flying during the total solar eclipse. Now, I want to bring you to this movie. So long and thanks for all the, fish. the dolphins leave Earth because they know. Because they're in touch where we're not. What if bees are the same? Correction, Miss Candace Gallen is the lecturer at University of Missouri and her kids were young adults, not adolescents. So they set up 16 monitoring stations in the path of totality in Idaho, Oregon and Missouri. And at each location, small USB microphones were hung next to popular flowers being pollinated by the bees in question. Okay, this is this awesome. They recorded, oh, some of the, they, they also recorded light traffic. Um, they recorded all of this data and during partial eclipse, so from the beginning of the eclipse to the end of the eclipse, the partial times, bees still carrying on as normal, you know, pollination and all. And just during total eclipse, Nothing. No flying, no buzzing, they stopped. Except there was one buzz in all these locations and microphones. They recorded one buzz, so this guy didn't get the memo. And he's probably going to stay on Earth when everything goes. So thank you Miss Gallen and your team for getting this data in August uh, during this total solar eclipse and the one bee that whose buzz will not be silenced. We had a rocket launch on October the 11th, um, the Soyuz rocket. Apparently Alexei of Chinin and Nick Haag who were on board suddenly went plummeting into ballistic mode. I am not sure what ballistic mode is, but it doesn't sound good. What actually happened was about 200 meters from the space station, the ISS, International Space Station, where they were going, the rocket started speeding up instead of slowing down. That is terrifying. Um, oh hey, we're going to the space station. Oh no, we're going into space where we can't come back from ever and we will be here forever and who knows that wow but the guys say most of the training is about what happens when something goes wrong so they just jumped into crisis mode and they had to go in for a re-entry and they re-entered back and landed on earth we're glad you are safe they have not yet come out with an official report on what exactly the problem was Saturn and Mars, two of the brightest and uh, easiest planets to see with a naked eye, are going to be around the moon. So until the 17th of October, this is a good sighting opportunity. Um, from October 14th, which was yesterday, uh, the moon is going to be closer to Saturn and it's then going to, by October 17th, be closer to Mars. 
so um, look out for those two. Saturn is the furthest planet that we can see with the naked eye. Saturn has a volume of more than 750 Earths and its reflexive rings are tilting at their max towards the Earth right now which is going to make the sighting opportunity even bigger. So get out there with your naked eyes or your telescope eyes and view our beautiful, wonderful Saturn. Alright, that's your space weather for today. I hope you have a wonderful day on Earth and I'll see you tomorrow. So long and thanks for all the fish. So sad that it should come to this. We try to warn you all, but oh dear. You may not share our intellect.